Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and this is the series I'm putting together where we're going from Earth to Io, and we're, we started off on Earth with the XR2. Well, we started off by creating the scenario, and then we took the XR2 from KSC up into orbit around Earth, rendezvoused with the Aero Freighter, docked with the Aero Freighter, so the XR2 is actually in the belly of the Aero Freighter. In the last video, we did our big ejection burn to go out to Jupiter, and so now we're just going to uh, time warp through the solar system to get closer to Jupiter. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Switch camera views, get back inside the Aero Freighter. We did a super small mid-course correction when we got to that point, which was just completely arbitrarily chosen, just to put our minimum altitude closer to the altitude that we want to be at when we actually arrive out to Jupiter. So we've got a long, long way to go. Let's get under time warp. So maximum time warp, there we are. Uh, as I stated at the beginning of all of the videos in this series so far, and I will say it again in this video and in any more videos in this series, at the time of this recording, the uh, Aero Freighter is not available for general download. So unfortunately, I can't uh, just put a link in the description and say, here you go, have at it. But uh, who knows, maybe by the time this video is actually posted on my YouTube channel, uh, maybe it will be, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. So we have, uh, our plan is to um, uh, get into orbit around Io. And when we were setting up our plan at Earth, we didn't pay a whole lot of attention to what it would take to achieve that. Uh, similar to the Mars mission, I'm just like, let me point the vessel towards Mars we'll get out towards Mars and when we're a few weeks away or a few days away then we'll worry about what it's actually going to what it's actually going to take to get to Phobos doing the exact same thing here we're pointing the vessel towards Jupiter we're heading that way once we get relatively close to Jupiter then we'll start dialing in our plan for um, actually getting to Io now we didn't completely ignore Io in our plan um, you know again we set our we set our minimum altitude at a distance that will have us roughly uh, pretty close to the distance that Io is from Jupiter. And we also took into account the inclination. And we found out all of that just by looking at orbit MFD. So, you know, if we bring up orbit MFD and we reference Jupiter, And then we talk from Jupiter, we target, you know, the different moons that uh, we might be interested in, in this case, Io. And just by looking at the information that we have in, um, in orbit MFD, we can see that the distance that Io is from Jupiter is right around 350 M. You know, it, it fluctuates just a little bit. And we can also see that the inclination of Io with respect to Jupiter, and I think this is its equatorial plane. Sometimes I still get these confused. So this is the ecliptic, which is in reference to the sun, right? I think. And this is in reference to Jupiter. Um, but either way, you can see it's really low. So, so that was the other thing we took into account was that we wanted to arrive at Jupiter somewhere in the neighborhood of this altitude and in a low inclination. And if we had chosen uh, Callisto, which is the farthest out from Jupiter, then we would have said, well, let's, let's try to arrive at Jupiter somewhere around 1.8 gigameters, but we still want that low inclination because regardless of which frame of reference you choose, it's still low. Um, I guess, I guess we're probably coming in from the ecliptic plane, would be my guess. So I'm thinking this is probably the more important inclination. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, uh, but that's kind of how that's, you know, some of the thought process that went involved that was involved. So let's turn our attention back to our uh, transects. And so this is where we are. This is where we're going to rendezvous. Uh, this is our encounter. So we're at uh, 60180, basically. We have 
a year to go. So, yeah, we have like almost 300 days to go still. So quite a ways. And as I'm looking at my encounter, uh, things are holding together pretty well. You know, minimum altitude is uh, going gradually down, but not drastically so. And the inclination's holding there, you know, right around one degree. So I'm happy with that. Um, if we want just to say that we did something, we can come out of time warp and maybe bump our uh, velocities around a little bit to try to bring this back out closer to 350, four, maybe even 400 because it is tending to go down. So that's not helping. That's helping. What about that's helping a little bit as well. So, so that's that's helping. So let's say, like, uh, let's say about 400 m, <clears throat> because like I said, we we are noticing that as uh, as we go forward, according to transex, um, it is tending to go down. So let me see here. Something like that. Maybe just a touch of... Yeah, whatever. Good enough. Ah. Oh. Now it's bugging me that it's not 400. <laughs> Let me see here. So that's going that way. That's going that way. That's going that way. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. It's good enough. Um, and we got so far to go. We, we want to stand our time warp as much as possible. So the next decision that we need to make is when are we going to start setting up our, our, our maneuver for actually getting our timing underway for for io and i think i think i'm going to do that what we'll see happen here and i think it happens when we get a bit further a bit closer into jupiter we'll, we'll see our gravitational influence will change and i in our and our plans will update and i think when those plan i think when this plan updates when our stages update <clears throat> i think that'll be a good time to uh, set up our maneuver i mean we could do it now but um, you know, we got a long way to go. So we're at 270. We have 430, so still 150 days. Yeah, something like that. So let's stay under time warp for the time being. And just kind of keeping an eye on some of our stuff here. And then a multitude. One thing I'm a little curious about, let me just go down to 10,000 for a moment. Where are my resources? So that's main. How do I see how much oxygen I have? Mm, again, it doesn't matter because I gave myself like 10 years, but what's this? I don't know what that is. Internal transfer, external lines, is not what I'm looking for. Mm. There used to be like a system button where you could actually see, but that might be something that's not working. Uh, cargo, crew, radio. All right, I don't see what I'm looking for, so it doesn't matter. Uh, maximum time warp. So this is where we are. That's where Jupiter is. That's where we're going to meet up. We're at 320. We need to go to 440, so about 80 days to go. How are... So we're at 0 0.10 on the gravitational um, effect from Jupiter. So bit, am I on maximum time warp? I'm not sure if I was, but I am now. So we're at 350, and we want 430, so so 360. Okay, there the plan just changed. And I think 
I just I just feel like that's a decent time uh, when we when our when our stages get updated. Um, I feel like that's a decent time to set up our maneuver. So let's do that now. So maneuver mode on. No wait. Maneuver mode off. Uh, change the view over to setup, and we want to target IO. Now view over to maneuver. Turn maneuver mode on, and now we're just gonna experiment with our variables until we get what we want. Let's view the encounter on this side. Um, that'll be fine because we have the closest approach over here. So let's see what happens when we add in prograde, take out prograde. So adding in prograde is bringing down the closest approach. So we'll start with that. And just a little bit of prograde. That is not much. Takes us pretty much all the way there, it looks like. So, so I saw 17. So let's start with that low point. And... And again, I need to do this date. I need to do this maneuver in the future. So let me, and it doesn't matter too much here. But so 1613, let's go for um, and if I don't hit this correct, it doesn't matter because we're so far out. Uh, let's, so let's see uh, what plane change does. So that's helping. Okay, so that's IO. And that's got us way, way down. Now, one other thing I can take into account. I do have a base on IO that I put on there. Um, again, it's just a copy paste of the old Brighton Beach from Orbiter 2010. So I didn't make any textures or anything like that. So let's reference. IO and let's target our IO base, very creatively named IO base. And th what that will do is it'll give us um, base information in Transex so that while we're setting this plan up, we can hopefully start trying to take, trying to get uh, into alignment. But I'm not super worried about that see here okay so all right let's figure all this out this is going to be hard to figure out because hard to keep together because Jupiter is tugging heavily on IO and um, in this plan whatever we do here is gonna fall apart but at least it'll hopefully get us you know started going in the right direction so inclination off base distance but my minimum altitude's way out there so let's go to plane let's go down to a super setting and that is bringing down the minimum altitude so let's do more of that it's way too much uh, off base off plane is uh, pretty close but the minimum altitude is way up there. Okay, so let's go with that for now. Update every time we go by update. And that's going the wrong way. So we're not going to be real fanatical about dialing this in at this point. I just want to get in the uh, you know proverbial ballpark. So that's bringing down the off-plane. So I'm going to go back and forth between off-plane and prograde. And it looks like... I'm going to say for now, since that minimum altitude is climbing rapidly, although it probably doesn't matter because if we're still a ways out, I'm going to, I'm going to just going to put in this maneuver for now. Um, again, we missed that time, but it doesn't matter. Rotation. Now, if I try, if I get this done right, translation. I don't have to orient the vessel. I can use up, down, left, right translation to bring this X down into the middle and then use um, forward translation. Let's try it. So that's the wrong way. So now that I have the X right there, it should be, it's either up or down. I just don't know if that X is in front of me or behind me. 
I wish the X was... So it must be the other way. I wish the X would go red when it's behind us. And now, mostly uh, forward translation. And occasionally clean up, bring my X more closer to center. And then forward translate. Bring the X more closer to center, forward translate. Bring the X closer to center, forward translate. And that's good enough. Turn off maneuver mode. And if we really want, we can tinker with with our translations a bit more, but I don't see much point in doing that because the focus PED is climbing quickly while it's actually oscillating. So we're just not going to worry about it. We're going to say that's our plan for now. So our encounter date is 426. We're at 363. Let's warp time forward a bit farther. And we maybe want to be a little careful now not to overshoot because we are getting in the ballpark. So 30 days from... 420 and you can see our plans already gone so a lot of good that did us um, but I still think it got us you know heading more or less in the right direction but what we'll do is we'll go to uh, 60400 right about there so that so we're, we're 26 days out we're 27 days out for fun our ship is spinning like crazy. Rotation. Um, um, we must have a lot of angular velocity. Let me get rid of it. Arrow, angular velocity. Oh, yeah. Get rid of that. Not sure how we got all that angular velocity. Um, Alright, so one thing I'm a little curious about. Uh, let me bring the HUD back up. Orbit. So. Translation. Let's get over. Prograde to Jupiter. And there it is. So I thought it'd be interesting just to take a quick look. And let's get this super awesome Aero Freighter view out of the observation deck. So obviously that's Jupiter. Should, you should still be able to see it in the video playback. And there are all the moons. There's Neptune. Yeah, if we look around the ecliptic, we should be able to see maybe some of the other planets, but they're being blocked. So neat. Back to the pilot's chair. And let's take a look at our stuff. So this is uh, we're going to do another mid-course correction here so that we can get... Uh, IO dialed in a little bit closer but we're coming up to 20 minutes so I'm going to say that's it for this video let me do a quick save control S switch camera views and we're almost there so in the next video we will undoubtedly complete our uh, time warp and we might even uh, we probably won't actually complete the the circularization uh, with IO in the next video, but we'll probably get all the way out there. So if you like this mission, leave a like down below, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next part.